So we've just walked into an Apple store, but we are having an issue. We don't know if it's really an Apple store. Good morning from our last day in China. Today we're in Guangzhou. Look at this. It's daytime. We got giant skyscrapers outside our room. Today we're going to go shopping for some gadgets, other things. That building is weird. Look at that. It like it goes up there and then moves to the left. Anyway, so basically we're gonna go shopping around, see what we can do in Guangzhou before heading on our flight back to London. Let's go. So we just got to a different part of the city. And they have these gates up with like the lights on it, and it just resembles something like in Half-Life 2 or a video game where you haven't unlocked access to this area yet. So they have this. I have to talk to someone, opens the gate. Very strange. Look at all of the tech. Jesus. And you guys need a charger? Because there's a lot of chargers here. There's stuff everywhere. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're in like a Home Depot for electronics. Just like a big hardware store where there's just every type of wire you can need. I need a Cat 5. No, I think I need a Cat 6. I mean, it's quite an abstract vagina. No, nah, that's a vagina speaker. That's, does it speak to you as it speaks it to me? Any of the girls? No, it? interesting. Yeah. But all the boys it did. You know, I've never seen one, so I'm just assuming. Like they have all these USBs, just like shoelaces, just no. dangling down. <laughs> this place has a, a little workshop where basically everyone is building their own PCs. This is the coolest gaming keyboard I've ever seen. Che needs one of these. These are the only keys you need to play, right? I mean, I'm gonna get all these. Wow. So we've just walked into an Apple store, but we are having an issue. We don't know if it's really an Apple store. Everyone seems to have Apple shirts on, but still could be fake. But they have this um, this little figurine of Steve Jobs holding a Chinese flag. Uh, that definitely sells it for me. This is totally an Apple store. This, this is it. This is the real deal. So to prove this is an Apple store, we're gonna look at the... Oh no, that's... Oh look, behind the scenes. That's a Windows computer. This is an iMac with Windows on it. Hey, this is my speaker system. So I think we've come to a conclusion that even though they have a lot of Apple products, this is not a real Apple store. Very, very convincing though. Very convincing. Why? I don't think Apple would ever let Windows happen on an Apple computer. <laughs> Never. So close. They almost asked. There's a lot of things you can get here, but I'm, I'm here for the Coldplay shop. I'm gonna buy some of that. This is the next level of fidget spinner. We've got five, and there's the legendary six. So we found another Apple store this way. And then visibly, there's another one over there. Yo, this PC is next level. Like, hello, I'm gonna cool it with neon lights and water. Wow. We found this iPhone X, which is not a real iPhone X, but it's only 100 pounds. And it's pretty hard to tell the difference. It's even got the notch. I don't control The notch looks like it's just there for fun, though. Wow. Also, they have wireless chargers here, so I can just plop this down. And my phone is now charging. Yeah. These are uh, AirPods here. But except they're a copy. They look just like normal AirPods. Take one out, Bonnie. Try them with a fake iPhone on. Woo! Wow. That's wicked. Look at that quality. So I just bought myself a wireless charger for my iPhone. It's like the first time an iPhone can do that. We haggled him down. You have to haggle here. So he started high with like 120 and we got him down to 90. Not bad. Wish you could do that for the iPhone though. So I've just realized as I'm walking around this big old marketplace full of gadgets in China, I'm wearing a shirt that says no one cares in Chinese and everyone just keeps laughing at me and I'm like, I know what it means. No one cares about it. I like all the different types of USBs and then we just have a Naruto blade in the same section. Sorry, very, very important. The fans don't show up well on camera because they're flashing, but they're pretty steady via my eyes. Oh, there it goes. Bye. They've got the original Apple iBook here. Like, whoa. Oh my gosh, there's the power book. So I was just wondering if this is going to be a real Microsoft store. What's going on here? Yeah, no. I think this is the fifth Apple store I've seen within like one block of walking what is in here real apple stuff i don't believe it i don't believe it baking cooking participating give me some of that salmon cheesecake reading and enjoying learn young learn fair I don't know if they've read in this bookshop. We've been trying to find the metro for the last 10 minutes, but basically there's just malls everywhere. This mall has, there's like eight stories. It just keeps going. Where, where are we going? This is like Westfield on steroids. The core values of socialism. There, I mean, patriotism, I would not say is really important in there, but friendship. Friendship's important. This is like when you're playing Tetris and you keep making mistakes but covering it up and <laughs> you just keep going. We've now found this incredibly bright pink tree in the middle of the city on an island. 
It's quite pretty. It's like a signpost in a video game. Like, how do I get to the water stage? There it is. So on my travels in the city, I came across this streamer just on the ground, so I decided to pick it up and battle a child. This girl is actually the same height as Evan, she's just really far away. So I tried to take a nice photo of Kim with my DSLR at this pink tree, but now it's just turned into uh, everyone wants a selfie with Kim, so we're just having a photo shoot. Everyone's just taking photos of Kim. <laughs> so yeah, a bit of a surreal experience, but we're being treated like celebrities right here, and everyone's asking to get a photo with us in front of the tree. There's like a whole group of monks. <laughs> it's quite weird. So we finished up near the riverside, having fun with my, my rainbows. We got some really cool pictures with some monks. And now we're heading towards Optimus Prime. Just look, there's just giant buildings everywhere. We're gonna see what McDonald's looks like in this country. It looks like a crash screen. Um, that doesn't look like it's working at the moment. So, so we've got big chicken cutlet and Italy stewed flavor big chicken coolet. I have no clue what the double sausage burger is. We're going in. Oh, that looks okay. Oh, German. Beef double sausage. I did end up finally getting my German sausage double beef burger. Let's see what that looks like on the inside. Look at that. That's uh, it's a lot of meat here. It's just meat on meat on meat. Whoa. I've just finished my meal. It was really good. The mush of these was amazing. Just found out the food that I actually paid for, the whole meal cost £2.80, which is a lot cheaper than uh, anywhere else in the UK or the US. The darkness has now befallen the city and all the lights have lit up. It's getting lit. That's what. There we go. It looks like a, a bit of winter wonderland and we got the rainbow tower at the end. It's Pepe the Frog. There's, there's a Pepsi meme with Pepe drinking a glass of Pepsi. Look at all these little fairy light boats. So it turns out we actually came during a festival of light and that's why there's so many light attractions going on. It's just so pretty. There's lights everywhere. We got dancers up in this Woo! After an incredibly long and amazing journey in China, it is now time to head to the airport. We're flying China Southern back to London. We've now made it back to Guangzhou Airport, which yet again has just an incredibly high ceiling. Gonna drop off our luggage. Pretty right? It's a, it's a bit unnecessary. This is such a massive, massive ceiling. I love how this lounge has a duty-free section to itself to buy fancy things, I guess. Here is the food. Oh, oh my. Oh my god. We got, that is not chicken nuggets. I thought it was. After chewing the lounge for a bit and having the quite dreadful foods, I got my video up, main channel video. It just took a while, went through some VPNs. Thank you, Tunnel Bear. Finally, I feel so stress free. It's time to get on our flight back to London. It is one in the morning. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, that's important, you know. Dab it up, Bonnie. No, no, you saw me do it. Yeah, I saw you lean forward trying to get in the dab. I was literally going to get it. <laughs> we do not belong on this flight. This flight's leaving at 1.50 a.m. and we're chasing the uh, darkness again, chasing the sun. Chasing the darkness. So we're going to be sleeping the whole flight, basically. Chasing the darkness. My emo band name, Chasing the Darkness. Our first single on the tour. Bloodless Heart. Bloodless Heart. <laughs> Tomato soup and the smallest cup of wine, so I drank it all already. I got some fancy chicken spaghetti. Kim got some steak. Steak's on the plane. Steak something. Der Käse und das Eis. It's bedtime. I've got my eye mask ready to go. It's time to get some sleep. Time to turn this chair into bed mode. Good night, folks. See you on the other side. Ah. This is supposed to be Eggs Benedict. Um, never seen the sauce on the side, but I'll let it slide. Second worst land. Back in good old jolly old England. Raining on my face and it's cold and i hope you enjoyed my videos from china they were really fun thank you very much to hainan for sending me and kim it was a really great time if you enjoyed it be sure to check out my other videos gonna do some other adventures sometime in the near future subscribe for that other than that i'll see you guys next time keep on traveling goodbye